I was not ready for this series. Hello and welcome guys, Salavathan here and we're back with another reaction today. Today we are starting something new again. Today we're watching Arcane League of Legends and yo I've been like anticipating watching this show for a while. Um, a little bit about me, you know with League of Legends, um, I used to play that game a lot when I was young. At one point it was my whole life. <laughs> essentially but one thing I always noticed about League was always that it had like a lot of lore with its characters and I think a lot of that plays off with this show as well too because it brings in a big story for with one of the more interesting characters Jinx and Vi I believe we might see Noxus we might see Demacia there's a lot <laughs> There's a lot, but I'm excited. We're just gonna get started and jump right into this series. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Turn on notifications down below so you know when I upload next, man. It's critical so you guys know when I upload. Please, please hit that like and sub button. <laughs> Sound desperate, but I need it. Um, and also consider checking the Patreon, guys. Full on cut reactions of this show and many, many other things, honestly. I appreciate all the support that comes on there. It's not needed, but I appreciate it. All right, though, we're not gonna waste any time. Let's get started with Arcane Episode 1. Welcome to the playground. Let's go. Yo, this this already looks pretty dastardly. It seemed as though like somebody experienced a heavy ass massacre. Yep, there's Jinx. And there's Vi. Yo, were those their parents? I think they were. I like this animation. It's like weirdly weird. It's like hand drawn mixed with 3D animation. But damn, man, damn. So I wonder if the show focuses on their upbringing or is it gonna focus on what happens after? Oh, what was her name? Caitlyn, right? Heimerdinger. Dang, oh, this is a crazy opening. Way too modern. <laughs> oh, was that Jace? The cool thing about Jinx and Vi is like they're completely opposite with each other, right? Jinx is crazy criminal while Vi is like a police officer, I think. Or a cop. We're almost there. Oh, man. I'm trying to remember what that city was that had um Piltover, that's where I'm talking about. I think this place is Piltover. Piltover was a place that had a lot of like advanced weaponry or something. How are they gonna how are they gonna follow that? Couldn't we have at least just walked there? Gotta stay out of sight for this one. Powder, look at me. What did I tell you? That I'm ready. Thanks. I'm going. Are you with me or not? Vander's gonna kill us. Yeah, only if we screw up. 
so don't screw up. These kids are up to some straight up no good. <laughs> They're definitely trying to steal something. <laughs> Who locks their balcony? You gonna get that door open anytime soon? Working on it. Seeing as I'm the only one who knows how to pick locks, I suggest. Subtle. You know, Clagger, for once you're right. We are definitely not supposed to be here. Well, I think this is a real Valdiani. Uh, guys? Wait, why? How the hell did we find this place? It was a tip from Little Man. Little Man? Just leave it. <laughs> okay, guys, if there's food left out there that's perfectly made, the guy is still here. Like. <laughs> Probably gonna cause a chain reaction and cause an explosion. <laughs> Holy shit. Nah, man, nah, 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 nah. Yo, I'm like really impressed by the artwork in this show. Like, it's hand drawn smoke. Does this man's like not have guns? <laughs> I thought they're cops. They don't they're not enforcing shit. Why are they called the enforcers? <laughs> These guys are so bad at their job. Man, not again. I just got this shirt. That's a literal shit. That's a literal shit right there. with all the things you didn't do. <coughs> Yo, Piltover's got a dark side. Nice haul. You could say that. I heard there was some action across the river. <laughs> but now you're, you're tracking this mess of yours through my streets. Your streets? What makes you Here's think- me. We don't want any trouble, okay? Hear that, Deckard? They don't want any trouble. You know, in my experience, trouble find you yo I always I always hate when people lay claim to public property how about you share a little taste of your treasure there just a taste just yeah hell no nah, man we legit risked our lives for that shit <laughs> yo dang these guys these guys know how to fight though It's so weird seeing Jinx like this without not liking anarchy like this and hating violence. Yo, this Clagger guy is a beast. serious bro you serious you don't even know how to use that shit look at her <laughs> do it want to see how that ends bye bye see ya dude <laughs> powder loser You did what? I'm sorry. 
I tried to fight him off with Mauser, but she didn't work. Who saw that coming? We never should have gone over there. Doesn't matter. The stuff's gone. Yo, these guys like are a part of like some kind of like uh, underground thievery gang. Comes, something goes wrong. She jinxes every job. She's just a jinx. <laughs> Ugh, nasty. <laughs> well, I uh, suppose that concludes our business then. <laughs> I suppose it does. Uh, wait a minute. <laughs> this, uh, uh, this <laughs> isn't what we agreed on, so. Well, the demand for your wares has dropped since we made our arrangements. I hate when people do that also, man. You can't change up the, the terms of the deal just to make it fit your need, man. Make your choice. You folks need anything? Leave us. You sure about that? Sound it to me like- Piss off. You don't seem to listen, partner. A bit of advice. Don't threaten the guy who pours the drinks. Yeah, exactly, so man. Vander. <laughs> Vander, eh? The underground. How about you just give Huck the rest of what you owe him, and I'll let you walk out of here in one piece. This is vile. You'll learn to love it. <laughs> she was trying to act so cool too. She couldn't even take the pipe. Vander learns none of this. No worries there. Powder took care of the evidence. Everyone all right? Never better. Good. I don't suppose you can explain why it is that I'm hearing about an explosion and a foot chase topside? What the hell were you thinking? That we can handle a real job. A real job? We Do you even stop to think about what could have happened to you? Hey? To them? We just heard it at Benzo's shop. From? Little man. I took us there. If you want to be mad, be mad at me. But you're the one who always says we have to earn our place in this world. We stay out of Piltover's business. Why? They've got plenty while we're down here scraping together coins. When did you get so comfortable living in someone else's Ooh, shadow? Oh, shit. Ooh, ooh. Insults. Those kids look up to you. Yeah, I know. You know, but you don't know. When people look up to you, you don't get to be selfish. I'm you say run. They run. I started seeing that actually. She literally just told them stuff and they just kept following her. Just like it's on me. When She's a natural things, leader. We make ourselves a problem for Piltover and they will send the enforcers. This? It's not going to solve your problems. It just makes more of them. We clear? I also find this very interesting on this side of it, right? The fact that she hates Piltover so much because she eventually becomes a cop for Piltover, working for under them and for, to protect their city. I wonder how that happens. Where is it now? We lost it. All of it? Good. Nothing can tie you to what happened up there. Except those blue crystals that Jinx stole. Mm mm mm. Subtle. Get up, Tiger. <laughs> going out. Wait, now? I'm going to have a little word with your informant. All right. Mm. The details are exactly. Interesting. I wonder who this little man person is who took him on this wild goose chase here. in that bag? She's young. Don't oh, bullshit me. You were twice the person at half her age. You know what, Milo? Seriously? This guy just keeps yeah. talking shit, man. Like complain about everything. What? 
and brag non-stop. Okay, okay, I see where this is going. I didn't mean to... Powder's my problem, okay? Your problem is never knowing when to shut up, but I'm gonna help you with that. Ready? You see this look on my face? This will always mean it's time to shut up. But she, she's a I good protective big sister. She is, and I think when, when Jinx goes down the wrong path, that's what really hurts her the most. We're closed. We'll open up. Owner's the shittiest businessman I know. <laughs> Echo, what's going on with that thing? Give me a few seconds. Hey, Echo! The time traveler. <laughs> You're a little early. Our guys are still rounding up this month's collections. Won't have numbers until it's done. Who? Oh, he retrieved the stuff? He went and got it and so he could sell it? That's the right thing to do. Yeah. And Vi is one of them. Throws herself at trouble wherever she can find some. Someone was following them. Whole lot of someones from what I heard. Not enforcers. Someone on our side. Who? There's worse things than enforcers out there. Hey, listen. How did you find that place? I Whoa! Did you fight the enforcers? What? Oh, no. Uh, just some bums. Oh, did Vi kick their asses? Yeah, I mean, it wouldn't be here otherwise. So how'd you find that place anyway? <laughs> uh, this weirdo came into the shop, bought a whole bunch of stuff Benzo only keeps there for display. He paid in gold and didn't even haggle. This is Little Man? Echo's a Little Man? Oh, crap. Uh, They'll be fine. Go! Well, hello. Evening, friends. Yo, fuck these guys. They're legit wearing masks because they don't want to breathe the same air as these people. Oh, that's a whole different type of pretentious. Some trench or trash attacked one of the buildings in the academy district. But you already knew that. We're looking for the culprits. Listen, you shady son. How summer. about you go for a little walk, Marcus? Cool off a bit. <laughs> go. Yo, is this where this guy listens in on all the conversations? <laughs> Mad, this kid's always spying. You know this was the line upstairs. Was anyone hurt? A building was below. What? To it seems that she's kind of like a little bit chill with this guy too. So these two seem like they have a bit of a history. Okay. That workshop belonged to the Kermans. Council needs someone to make an example of. The Kermans. You don't seem to grasp how serious this is. If I don't put someone behind bars tonight. The next time I come down here, I'll have an army of enforcers with me. I'm sorry, Grayson, but I can't offer up my own people. Hmm, I think they're gonna take in Vander and use him as like a scapegoat. Oh no. <laughs> what are you calling this one? Whisker. You wanna talk about today? What's the point? It ruined everything. I always do. You heard them. I'm not a fighter. You don't have to be. Come with me. What? Come on. What are we doing here? That's where Clagger got his foot stuck running from enforcers. That sign? You see it? Huh? Milo tripped over his own paint bucket near his ass made that splotch. <laughs> oh my god, really? And that? When I was a kid, some guy took my favorite toy and threw it up there. We've all had bad days. But we learn. And we stick together. These were in my pocket. Let's keep this our little secret. Milo's wrong, Powder. You're stronger than you think. And one day, this city's gonna respect us. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> Now his accomplice is asking questions about you. 
The kids. It was their fault. The explosion in the upper city. And who the hell? Who the hell are yeah. these guys? Smartest thing you ever said, boy. Get him a meal. Or keep him off the streets. Our timeline has moved up. It's almost ready. Show me. And the side effects. Stabilizing. What are they doing? Imagine making a rat kill a cat. Yo. They teased it so badly. Who is it going to do this to? Someone just volunteered. The Decker kid volunteered? Okay, that was the first episode of Arcane. They're trying to give us like a bit of an origin kind of going on here. And we're kind of seeing like the the moment where like Jinx might snap and become go to the dark side and Vi might actually change her mind and work for Piltover. So to hear that she doesn't like Piltover and that um and that Jinx is like a scared little kid who doesn't fight, that in itself is is really crazy interesting. I'm thinking that the guy that they were stealing from could have been Jace, because a lot of the stuff looked like the stuff that Jace was doing back then. And they and the name of the family sounded familiar a little bit. Um, um, we meet that Vander guy. I think Vander is gonna die. Um, he kind of offered himself up as like a sacrifice there but by not like exposing who the person was that basically stole the stuff and, and caused the explosion. The last part over there with that um, that doctor guy was interesting because I don't know if it's a character that we might know or we might find out further in the series. I feel like it might be. With the opening and the way it looked, it's, at some point we're going to see the characters age up and, and get to the point where they're, they're the, who they are. Um, and I'm excited for that. With that note, I think I'm going to end the video here. Take care. See you guys around. And have yourselves a great rest of your day. Bye.